going from bi-weekly to monthly when cleaning the home. Where does the price increase? Steve here with the Janitorial Store, the channel where we help cleaning business owners scale their cleaning businesses with systems, tools, and resources. Well, you know, sometimes that can be a challenge of knowing, you know, what the price increase or what you should increase your price when you're going from a bi-weekly to a monthly service or a weekly uh, to a bi-weekly or bi-weekly to a weekly or monthly to weekly. Uh, so it can get a little confusing. And, you know, uh, your, our residential clients, they do this all the time. You know, they'll, they'll skip a service. They're on a bi-weekly schedule, but then they call and they cancel the service for whatever reason. So that means that now it's going to put them onto that monthly schedule. Well, we have to make sure that we adjust our price accordingly. You know, and obviously we had this conversation with them before we even, uh, before we even agreed to work together. So they're aware that since they've canceled the bi-weekly service, they're going to be jumped up to the next level to the monthly service, uh, which is going to cost them more. So, you know, and the reason for it is obvious. Uh, you know, we have uh, uh, new dirt versus old dirt. You know, we have uh, much more uh, higher old dirt levels if it goes to a monthly uh, than it would a bi-weekly. And um, we have to take that into consideration because what happens is that that uh, reduces our production rate. So let's say, uh, let's say on a, a bi-weekly clean, we're cleaning at 600 square feet per hour. And, you know, uh, you know our, our scope of work is complete. We're doing a great job. Everybody's happy. So uh, then, the, the, for whatever reason, the homeowner, you know, calls and says that they got to uh, cancel the service that week. Uh, so we'll just pick it up on the next, next uh, scheduled service, which would be a monthly service then. Well, what happens is that now that production rate went from 600 square feet per hour down to 480 square feet per hour. So obviously, you know, with, uh, with that, it's going to take us longer to clean. So let's say we had a house that is a 2,500 square foot home, and, you know, our production rate was at 600 square feet, meaning that it would take us 4.16 hours to clean that home. Then, you know, when they canceled the service and went to that monthly service, that means that our production rate obviously is slower at 480. So if we take 2,500 square feet divided by 480, that equals 5.24 hours to clean. I'm sorry, 5.20 hours to clean it. So you can see that our time per clean went up. So obviously that means that we, got, we have to increase our price. But when we're trying to calculate you know, how much we should uh, increase the price, well, you just do that simple math equation. If you know your production rates that you're charging for your weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly services, then you can easily determine how much of a percentage uh, increase or decrease that would be. So, for example, what you would do is you take your, your 600 uh, square feet per hour production rate minus 480 square feet production rate. That equals a minus 120. Then you divide that by 600 that will equal 0 0.20. So it's 20%. So that's a 20% increase from the bi-weekly to the monthly price. Um, so from there, now you can, you can use that calculation. You're just going to know if you've quoted somebody a price on something for your, their bi-weekly, and they're going to ask, well, you know, uh, if I move to a monthly service, how much would that be? Well, just increase that price 20%, and then you should be covered because of the tracking that you've done on your production rates. So hopefully that makes sense. But that's a simple method of, of determining, you know, when a, a client goes from bi-weekly to monthly and what that price increase should be. So when you're, when you're calculating these increases, what you can do is you can go to the uh, My House Cleaning Biz and use the residential cleaning calculator. Uh, by using that, you're going to know exactly what your profit percent is. Uh, so you can really hone in on, you know, just how much of an increase this should be. So that's the benefit of using that calculator. So, well, hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below or a like. And if you, uh, you have not already, uh, make sure that you subscribe. And uh, turn on those bell notifications to get the latest updates on new videos to help you grow your cleaning business. Thanks for checking in today. And let's keep it clean out there.